This is Made for More Living with Johnny Jennings, powered by EXP Realty, online at madeformoreliving.com. I don't think it's an exaggeration to say this is the number one complaint of an experienced real estate professional. Valerie, what is, so let me test this theory out. Valerie, would you say it is when your realtor doesn't listen to you? Or when your when your client doesn't listen to the realtor? A hundred percent. That's exactly what I was going to say. Why is that? Why is that so frustrating to you? Well, you know, it, oftentimes we sit down with our clients at the beginning of our relationship and say, "What are your goals?" Okay, so I know exactly what they're shooting for mm-hmm. and what they want, and I know how to make that happen. Right? I've done this a million times. I know exactly how to achieve what they're trying to achieve, and so many people, and you know, myself included, I. I feel like I know I can figure it out better than so-and-so that's trying to do it for me, right? Um, but if we just put our our humble pants on and listen. Humble pants. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> Are those a, like super stretchy or like, <laughs> I need to know more about, can you get yes. those at Lululemon or where do you get humble pants? Um, no, you cannot buy them there. No. <laughs> made for more store. Go to madeformorestore.com. Yes. No. <laughs> yeah. But it's just, you know, it's just about taking a step back and listening to the professional in any situation that you're in, but especially in real estate, because you know your agent is the one that's done this before. They know how to help you achieve the goals that you're trying to achieve. Yeah, I've yeah. seen somebody, not necessarily in real estate, but go through those similar experiences, right? Where they have an office, somebody, a potential client comes into their office, tells them, this is what I think the plan should be, yada, yada, yada. And the person says, good luck with that. There's the door. And yeah. just is like, yeah. This is not going to work out. You're just going to frustrate me. Obviously, you think you know everything, so there's the door and walk out. Obviously, you guys don't do that. You you have a little bit more grace and and compassion and understanding. Yeah. But Absolutely. it's true. It's you've run into those situations like why why are you coming to me if you already know the plan and what to do? Then go for it. Yeah. Do Obviously, it come to and, yeah. me. Yeah. So couple, I am the master, you are but my apprentice. Yeah. So there, there there are a couple different reasons why why they're doing that. Mm-hmm. One is they don't trust sure. the person. And so there's a lack of trust there. Maybe they're working with uh, the realtor because they heard good things, but they don't, they don't trust them. Or maybe because it's a friend or a family member and they don't, they don't really trust them. And, um, but they think they're doing them a favor. That's another thing is a lot of people think, hey, I'm, I'm in control. I've, done, I've sold a home. Like, what did, what's the one I heard most recently? I've sold four homes in my lifetime. And I'm like, bro, I sold four this week. Yeah. <laughs> like, who's more experienced? You know, I get it. I get it. You're older than me, but... Um, you, you've, you've lived more years, but age is not necessarily a de facto determinant of experience and wisdom. Yeah. But you probably deal with that on a regular basis because Absolutely. you're still a young guy. So how yeah. do you overcome that? How do you have those conversations with somebody who's older and more experienced in other areas of life, right? Yeah. They've been down the road longer, but you're more experienced, obviously, in real estate. How do you have those conversations? So what, so what I like to do is I just say, hey, you know, it's your house, your rules. Like, I want they need to feel like they're in control. They need to know, yep. they'll know that they're not, that I'm not dictating the process to them. At the end of the day, it's their home. Mm. I'm here to advise. Now, whether or not you listen to me, that's up to you, but I am not doing my job. I'm not being a fiduciary to you if I am withholding valid mm. information. And you had an experience recently, right, Valerie? Yeah, definitely. We're a success story, right? So a lot of times when um, when we're working with buyers, they have a specific time frame that they're looking for, right? So this specific client, he was looking to buy something before selling his other home because he's got a lot of kids. He needs mm. to make sure that they can move in and they're not trying to do this whole two escrows at the same time thing, right? Um, so he was able to listen to us get financing with our preferred lender who has a great plan of how to make that happen, right? So the exact process to walk through, the lender and I both spelled it out for him. He listened, we made it happen. And it, was, it wasn't it was all perfect throughout the whole thing. You know, we we had a bump, bumps along the road with financing. Yeah. So like some and, bumps along the road would have been, um, he had a, um, a bunch of different bank accounts. Mm-hmm. And so he, he had a fantastic income but because he was a business owner, his taxes, he wasn't paying a whole lot in taxes. So most, most lenders would say, hey, we can't, we can't do this loan. But um, JJ Mack with American Pacific Mortgage is able to do a thing called manual underwriting. Uh, it's also called a bank statement loan. And so what they're able to do is collect all the different bank statements from, I believe it was five different banks. So this is not a simple process. 
collect all the bank statements, and create a custom plan that would allow him to get pre-approved for exactly what he needed. And so, um, if you're looking, if that interests you, and you're wanting to learn more about the Buy Before You Sell program, just call or text us at 530-GET-MORE. Just text, you know, say Buy Before You Sell or House to 530-GET-MORE, and we'll get you the information on, on that specific program. And um, But essentially, what he was able to do was listened to us, he listened to the professionals, he got the house he wanted at the price he wanted, and now his family's moving into it, and now he's gonna sell his other home, it's gonna be um, easily easily shown, he's not gonna have to deal with people coming in and out and him having to move all the family and the kids out of the home during the showing and bringing them back in. Mm. They're all gonna be calm and enjoying their new home while the other home is on the market. And you're saying the key to that was him following your lead. Exactly, yep. Yeah. So we lay out options. Like yeah. again, it's your house, your rules, but here are some options. And mm-hmm. so, but if you don't if you don't take the options that if you don't take the advice we're giving you, then that's like hiring a, uh, a an attorney to represent you in court and then not using them at all. Just be quiet, I got this. Yeah, right? you stand up and defend yourself <laughs> rather than letting them do it. Right. Yeah. And it's 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 just not it's just not recommended, but at the end of the day, if you are not feeling like you're represented or you're not feeling like that person mm-hmm. has your best interests in mind, then you've picked the wrong the wrong real estate mm-hmm. agent. Mm-hmm. And so I'm not saying you should cancel an agreement or you should do anything unethical, but before you enter into an agreement, you need to make sure that that person is legit. Mm-hmm. And so what I would recommend you do is you go to their Google reviews and see what do people have to say after working with them. Google us. You could just go to Tom Dave's Made For More, you Google us, you'll see we have over 760 five-star reviews. Mm-hmm. And the reason why we do that is because one, we sell a lot of homes, but two, we do a great job for our clients. And so not only do we have the experience, but we have the client and customer care to make sure that you trust us and that you feel comfortable entrusting us with your most valuable asset. Mm-hmm. Val, if there was one thing you wanted, you wanted sellers to know in like 30 seconds or less, what would it be right now in today's market? Sellers? Yeah. Just, just trust us. I think you know, and like it goes back to what you were saying. Um, it's really all about trusting your agent, knowing that they have your best interest in mind, and that they know what to do to get you to that goal. Absolutely, not all realtors are created equal. Yeah. But if you wanna, if you wanna learn more about our Buy Before You Sell program or 195 point program marketing program, just call or text five three zero get more. That's five three zero get more. 